what made you come to Camp Lejeune? Yeah. The reason why I came here is, uh, is really that the, the relationship and the cooperation between uh, the Marines and Norway is so strong. Uh, and uh, with the, the rotational Marines uh, in, in Norway, I really wanted, and also the experience we gained together during the Trident Juncture, I really wanted to come down here and, and to meet with, meet with the general, uh, but also had to have a better idea about what is uh, MEF2 uh, and, and uh, how is the relationship between the Marines and, and Norway continue to develop in, in, in the future. So that was, that was the main purpose. And I always think that sort of working in, in, in Washington DC, uh, you can get a sort of an impression, an idea about an issue, but you really have to come and see by yourself uh, what's, what's, what's happening in order to get a better, better understanding. And that's why I've heard so much about the Marines. Uh, I have been talking to, to the, the commander uh, several times, but I also wanted to see with my own eyes what, what, what's, what, what is, what's, what's the beef eh? and how is this working. And uh, I think that now I've been there for uh, uh, less than 24 hours. But I mean, it's, 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 it has been so interesting uh, and I've learned a lot. And, uh, and uh, I think that giving sort of my, also my sort of assessments and views to, to my political superiors, it's important to have that under, better understanding. And I get that when I'm down here, for sure. Wonderful. And what are some, what are some of the positive things that you'll be able to take away um, once you leave here and go back to DC um, regarding Trident Juncture or any future operations that may be conducted between the U US Marines yeah. and Norway? Now what I heard, and I think what's, 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 what's important is really that from, 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 from the, the leadership, the, 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 the MEF2 leadership and the generals and, and his, 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 his closest advisors, that there is this interest to continue to work with Norway. It's this interest to continue to learn more about sort of operating in the Arctic. That's, imp that, that's two important messages. And I would also say that hearing that from them personally, it's important and that's something which I can use then in, in, in my dialogue and, and what I sort of uh, tell my superiors about. And so that's, that's one thing. And I also think that the Trident Juncture, uh, it was a big, uh, huge military exercise. Uh, but also to hear from, from, uh, from the pilots uh, and to hear from, and I visited the, 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 the pilots earlier today, and to hear from them about the command and, and, and the control systems, how they work, didn't work, how they could be improved. The, the, the weather conditions they operated under, it's, it's, it's an important experience and it's important to, to hear it directly from them. Wonderful. And I hope you got to see some of the, seeing some of the planes, yeah, yeah. enjoy some of your time here. Yeah, yeah, yes. I was even in the cockpit on one of them. So I think that was the 22. I don't remember the first two labels, but it was the, the big, big aircraft. So uh, no, yeah, that was uh, very nice. Oh, yeah. And what, do you, what are your thoughts on the expanded presence of the Marines in training and coordination with, the, with, with Norway? I think that, as, as my, 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 my government also says, and it's really that having the Marines there on a rotational basis is, 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 is important in our bilateral relationship between the United States and, and Norway. It's important in our bilateral relationship between the Norwegian Armed Forces and, and the Marines, but also as a deterrence measure, it's important. Uh, to have the Marines there, and uh, and that's also why I would say it has been so well received by 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 the Norwegian uh, citizens uh, and, and and the people living uh, in in the parts of Norway where the where, where the Marines are are deployed. So uh, so it has been a success story, and it's a very good sort of story to tell uh, about how how we work closely together, Norway and the United States, and where the Marines is really a key part of that. I do think it is a great, a, a great ally, you know, the, the allegiance that we have. Um, just standing back, I was able to listen in a little bit, and the one thing that everybody always says is, is you know, the Norwegians and, and the locals are so welcoming. You know, they're just, they're just so willing to, to lend a hand, and that's, that's so important because it's some things that sometimes we don't, we don't get here in the United States. Yeah. So it's but you know, I think it's a good that that's important that sort of Norway as a host country and Norwegians as the hostess are sort of receiving the Marines uh, as we do, 
But at, this, at the same time, and we, I think we have to recognize that is that the Marines, they're also behaving in a very, very positive manner in interacting uh, with the, no, the, the Norwegians. Huh? So it's a two-way street, uh, and it's both the Norwegians and the Marines. We, 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 they, individually, we work very closely together, and we do that in a sort of friendly, friendly way. And that is why it's, I think it's so successful. I agree. And if, on a lower level, the, the Norwegian military and the US military could, could take anything away from each other, what do you think that, that most important aspect would be? I think that uh, the most, Im I'm not sure what's the most important aspect of, well, is, but I think that, I think that based on the sort of the international situation now, I think that it's so important that the U.S. Marines uh, exercise in uh, exercises in, 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 in Arctic environments. I think it's important that Norwegian troops and U.S. Marines exercise together. Uh, under these Arctic circumstances, and I think that uh, that will be to the advantage of the United States, to Norway, but also to NATO in the long run. How do you think um, we're doing as far as collaborating in an interoperability type of way? Um, do you think we're making those long-lasting relationships? Do you think that we're, we're at a good standing in um, moving forward in a positive way? Yeah, I, I, I'm sure we do. And, uh, and it doesn't go sort of two years back, but it goes back decades. Huh? And uh, we are not just working or exercising together in, 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 in Norway, but we have been, been standing shoulder to shoulder, shoulder in Iraq. We, have been, we are still doing that in, in Afghanistan, so we know each other, uh, and I think there is a mutual respect from, from, from both sides, from both countries, about the sort of the, 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 the integrity and the professionalism of U.S. Marines uh, and, and Norwegian soldiers, really.